Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to import a Genesis 9 character from the Dust Studio into the Unreal Engine 5.1. After that we will retarget animations from the UE5 mannequin skeleton to the imported Dust 3D figure. And finally we will place this figure onto the third person game. And in the next video, we will learn how to import different clothes for the Genesis 9 figure and change them inside the Unreal Engine 5 at runtime. So, let's start. First of all, we are going to download the latest version of the Dust to Unreal plugin from the GitHub. I will place the link to this page in the description below this video. So we download the latest version of the plugin to our local drive. And now we go to the folder and unzip the archive. We open the folder and navigate to the UE5.1 folder. We copy the dust terminal folder. And now we should place it into the UE5.1 plugins folder. So we navigate to the UE5 installation directory. It is usually program files, epic games, UE5.1. And here we go to the engine plugins and we paste the copied folder here. Now we want to install the Dust to Unreal bridge onto the Dust Studio itself. We open the Dust to Unreal folder, open the resources folder. And we copy this DZ Unreal Bridge DLL file. And let's now go to the Dust 3D Plugins folder. Program Files, Dust 3D, Dust Studio 4, Plugins. And we paste the DLL file here. That's it with the installation. Now, let's run the Unreal Engine 5.1. Let's create the project and let's select the third person template. Let's give it a name, uh, maybe it does to Unreal. J9, Genesis 9, and hit the Create button. So, the project has been created, and let's activate the Dust to Unreal plugin. To do so, we go to Edit, Plugins, and we look for Does to Unreal and we check the box and restart the project. So the project has been restarted and now we should make sure that all the settings are right. So we go to Edit Project Settings and we scroll down. And under the plugin section, we look for does to Unreal settings. And we make sure that the fixed bone rotations on import is selected and the zero root rotation on import is selected as well. Great. So 
we are ready to go. Now it's time to go to the Dust 3D Studio. And as you can see, I already have my Genesis 9 figure prepared. There is Victoria 9. And we are ready to export her. Uh, but make sure that in the scene, the Victoria 9 is selected. And to export this figure, we just go to File, Send to, and we select Dust to Unreal. We should give the asset a name. I will leave it as is, Victoria 9. The asset type should be the skeletal mesh. And we may now press the Accept button. In the FBX export options, Make sure that include animation option is unchecked and then just hit the accept button one more time. So here is the exporting and it is done. We press the OK button and we may now close the Dust Studio. And now in the Unreal Editor we see the Victoria 9 is being imported. And it has been imported and we may just ignore these warnings. And here we can see the skeletal mesh Victoria 9. And let's open our content drawer and press the Save All button. And let's now take a look how the retargeting works from the UE5 animations to the Dust 3D figure. So, uh, just led to the characters folder containing Unreal content and open the mannequins folder animations and let's say Queen. And let's take a look how to retarget this run animation to the Victoria 9 skeletal mesh that we have just imported. We right click this animation. By the way, we may retarget several animations at once. So let's press the control key on our keyboard and select all the three animations with the left mouse click. And now let's right click and select an option named Retarget Animation Assets and Duplicate and Retarget Animation Assets and here in the IK Retargeter let's select the G9 Retargeter and as a target skeletal mesh we select our Victoria 9 skeletal mesh that we have just imported by the way, you may uh, have a little issue if in this drop-down menu you don't have, you don't see the G9 retargeter. In this case, uh, you just have to open the content drawer and at the top right, press this little settings button and check the show engine content and show plugin content options. All right. And after we selected the retargeter and the skeleton, just click the retarget button. And we can see the animations have been. But thanks to the Unreal Engine 5, we may now retarget animations at runtime. So I will just remove these new animations. 
and let's create a new blueprint that will automatically retarget animations from the mannequin to this new Victoria 9 skeleton and then we will place her onto this third person game instead of this queen character. So let's open our content drawer and navigate to the content third person blueprints and let's duplicate this bp third person character we right click and we select duplicate let's rename it to bp uh, Right. And let's now open it. Here at the left, let's select the mesh component and click this little add button. And start up in skeletal mesh. And we add the skeletal mesh component under the mesh. Let's just rename this new component to does skeletal. Right. And we select it. And here at the right in the details tab under the mesh, we select the skeletal mesh asset. And it will be our Victoria 9 skeletal mesh that we have just imported. In your case, it may have other name, right? Compile and save. But now to pre-target animations from the queen to the Victoria in real time, we should create a very simple animation blueprint for the Victoria 9. So, here in the third person blueprints, let's right click, select animation, and here we select the animation blueprint option. Here we pick the Victoria 9 skeleton and we hit the create button. Let's rename it to does G9 BP. So there's an animation BP for our does Genesis 9 skeleton. Let's save everything and open this new animation blueprint. And if you don't see this output post node, just go to the anim graph here at the left to open the animation graph. And here, let's right click on the empty space and start typing retarget from mesh and we leave the source mesh component as it is in our blueprint it will automatically be the parent component of our mesh we should now drag a connection and drop it to the output post node and let's now compile and we see the error because we didn't set the ik retargeter do you remember the dust to unreal plugin has the genesis 9 retargeter let's compile once again and everything is fine now now let's open the actor blueprint one more time bp dust character that will be that we are going to use in our third-person game. 
and we select the DAS skeletal mesh and here in animation under the animation mode we leave the use animation blueprint and as the anim class we select the animation blueprint that we have just created so let's start up in does g and select this does g9 anim bp that we have just created and we see our does character is now being retargeted at real, at real time but we want to make the queen mesh invisible so we select it and we start typing quiz to find visible and disable it and we should also change this option named visibility based NMT option and we select here always tick pause and refresh pause and we compile and save and now to place this new character onto our third person game we may just change the default pawn class and to do so we go to the world settings here at the right and here we see the game mode section and we just expand this section and selected game um, we could override the game mode and specify there the default pawn class but it is easy to do this way and here under the near the default pawn class we select our newly created uh, p does character let's now run the game and you see our Victoria 9 is now the main character of the game. Right. And as you can see, I have also attached a metahuman hair to the Victoria 9 character. I have skipped uh, this step uh, because I have other tutorial on how to attach metahuman hair to the figures imported from the dust 3d and you can check it just to see how it works something like this and in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to how to import clothes from dust studio to unreal engine 5.1 and how to change the clothes dynamic and that's basically it for today have a nice day see you next time